Hello, everybody. Uh, this is DFS Chan coming to you here, <clears throat> to, excuse me, to talk about June 13th, um, tomorrow morning's uh, League of Legends LPL slate. It's a two game slate. Um, it's going to be a two game slate until probably the next weekend um, when the LCK and then other major regions, LEC and then LCS come back. And we're going to have some fun. Uh, when that happens, uh, it's going to be fully loaded um, League of Legends slates uh, on, on DraftKings and then on other, on other uh, you know, DFS uh, platforms. So, yeah, like, without further ado, let's dive in. Um, first game is between Invictus Gaming, IG, versus Funplus, Funplus Phoenix, FPX. Uh, both, of the both of these teams have already uh, played a game. Um, and they're facing against each other. Um, one thing about IG from watching the last game, their last game, um, I think Zika, June, and Yukai look decent. But still, I think the problem lies with the bottom lane here. Um, I know Sin Liu, I mean, he just changed his name. He's Lucas. So Wink and Lucas are starting again. Wink has, there was a, there were a lot of moments in the, in the last series, I guess they played in, um, he was caught out a lot and really, I mean, the bottom lane did not carry at all uh, compared to other lanes. Um, and I feel like Invictus Gaming struggles against good bottom lane teams and FPX is just that. So I do think I'm pretty confident that FPX will win here. Uh, over IG because FPX when they played against EDG in their last series to start the summer split um, they actually played very well against EDG um, it's unfortunate they uh, you know once uh, lost few bad fights in the last game of the series where that costed them the game the series um, against FPX but I do feel like well at least from my observations FPX played really well Xiao Hu he played really well in the top lane, and I do think he's going to have a have an advantage over Zika just based on the last game that I saw. And then Clit is coming along, um, you know, with the team after having spent this up at spring split. Um, and I do think he's going to match up OK against June. I don't think there's any advantage for either of those guys. June is really good, but Clit is actually pretty good. He's been playing pretty good as well. So and then Care Yukai. Yeah, I mean, Kara is okay. I mean, I, I like, I think I'm going to give an advantage to Yukai here slightly because uh, Kara, he, he did not look that great, in my opinion, in the last series. But this is where I give the most edge, the biggest edge for FPX over IG in the bottom lane, LWX Hang, and Hang. Hang played really, really well in the last series. And I feel like that's going to be the difference maker, in my opinion, over IG. So I'm probably going to have a lot of FPX today here. Probably going to have the most exposure amongst the four teams. So that's probably where I'm at uh, for this matchup. And then Weibo Gaming. Well, let's uh, before we move on to the next game, um, I'll show you the odds that Invictus Gaming and Fun Plus Phoenix FPX is a pretty sizable favorite as well. And I agree with that odd. So the second game of the slate is Weibo Gaming versus EDG. Um, Weibo Gaming and EDG both also... Um, had a game already in the split, um, and they they both look pretty good. I mean, Weibo Gaming, I didn't agree with Huan Feng playing a healer <laughs> champion instead of a traditional AD carry champion. So I I don't know what happened there, but I just feel like they give themselves the best chance the best chance to win when Huan Feng plays a traditional AD carry role that can do a, deal a lot of damage. Um, in my opinion, instead of going for the sustain uh, with the shy trying to carry. So <coughs> I do think Angel had a really good game in the mid lane, who I was a little concerned about um, com coming into the summer split after watching him in the spring split. Um, but he had, his form actually came up. Um, and the shy's form has been inconsistent, at least from what I've seen in the, in the last series. So I think he's going to struggle against Flandre. Flandre played really well in the last series. And JJ played amazing in that last series. So as long as like Scout and Viper and Mako, uh, their form can come up a little bit. 
I do think they're gonna sh- they should be able to beat uh, Weibo Gaming, but Weibo Gaming ceiling is very high in my opinion, just based on this uh, roster. I do think they have what it takes to beat EDG because I do think EDG when they don't get the lead or it's just like for them, they just play so slow and they don't really like to take chances that much as a team. And frankly, that's how they won the Worlds last last season. So, you know, it they they know it that it works, but sometimes that can put them they can put them behind for a while, and then that just you know that just uh, takes too long for them to and they you know dig themselves too deep up a too deep of a hole um, to come back against a elite team like Weibo Gaming. I think that's gonna be hard to do. But Weibo Gaming has also also has um, tendencies to throw <laughs> matches here uh, here and there, you know, during certain parts of the game. And, and JJ, like I said, I think <clears throat> the biggest strength for Weibo Gaming is in the bottom lane and and the, in the jungle. But I think JJ played really well, so I do have to favor EDG here over Weibo Gaming. And but I do think this is more of a toss up compared to the other matchup. So I think this is going to be an interesting one, but I'll have to uh, side with EDG in this one. In terms of the kill upside, let's look at that real quick. Um, which one we should uh, use a long stack from? Um, LPL Summer, maybe, since they've played games already. Uh, EDG, FPX, IG, and then where are you at? Weibo Gaming. So yeah, Invictus Gaming, Weibo Gaming. Yeah, I think IG plays a bit fast. I don't think it's Weibo Gaming that caused that CKPM to be a little high. So I'm going to have to say, well, let's see, 0.82, 0.70. This one is favorite. EDG, FPX, IG, Weibo Gaming. So last season, um, Weibo Gaming was low. See, so I do think um, between IG and Weibo Gaming, it was IG that made that CKPM higher uh, between the two. So I do think this IG FPX game will be higher in kills compared to Weibo Gaming and EDG, which should be much slower. So I would get a, try to get a long stack from the IG FPX either side, but I do think FPX will win. Um, and then short stack from this game, Weibo Gaming and EDG. So that's where I'm at. Um, I know this video is a little bit uh, shorter than usual because, I mean, it's a two-game slate, so there's not much to talk about. Uh, I mean, maybe I can talk about some players that I like, but I already mentioned about FPX. Um, I know top laners are not usually the priority, but like just based on how I, I saw the FPX play, they put a lot of resources in Xiaolaohu and then LWX. So I would definitely have to target those two. Like I said, it's not it's pretty rare to target a top laner like that. Um, but I, I will have to favor Xiaolaohu and then LWX for FPX and then for IG. Um, I'm going to have to favor June and Yukai, the jungle and the mid laner. And then in Weibo Gaming, I'm going to have to say Huan Fang, Angel, and S of FM. Um, I think the Shy is too inconsistent. I mean, he can have like a 10 0 game where he scores a lot, but then in the next game in the series, he could go 0 and 10. So, you know, for what it's worth, he's not going to score well, I think, because of that inconsistency. Um, but and for EDG, it's going to have to be. JJ and Viper and Mako played really well too. So probably those three as well. All right. Well, if you guys have any other questions, let me know. I can be reached uh, on Twitter, YouTube, Discord uh, at the Truth DFS uh, Discord channel. Um, but otherwise, you know, if you like the video, please hit the like button. Otherwise, uh, also hit the subscribe button if you want to watch videos about other sports. Uh, we cover other sports, including MLB, golf, NHL. So if you guys have any other questions um, or interested in joining us as a member, premium member, that would be great. Um, we share, we have a lot of resources that we help our members uh, to win some money. 
on DFS. So if you guys have any other questions, reach out to me. Good luck out there. Thanks. Bye-bye.